Thank you so much. Uh, this time, I would like actually to uh, introduce the uh, Paulo Machedo. He is from Portugal, and he is the Secretary General of the Inter uh, of the Association or International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty. So, uh, Paulo, I will not give a speech today, so I'll be speaking tomorrow. Therefore, may you please come. And uh, we, this is a special uh, moment, a special recognition, actually. And Paolo is going to explain um, what this recognition is all about. Um, there will be, I understand, uh, a message that will be given. I think it's ready, right? Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to give you the mic again. Good afternoon. Um, Your Excellency, Director of Perez Academy, thank you for hosting, uh, for hosting us, for receiving me this, this afternoon. Distinguished participants, may peace be upon you. Please allow me to start with a few words, a few remarks about the International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty an organization born in 1946. The second part of the 1940s decade was an era with some remarkable events related to peace, to justice, and to freedom. The Chart of the Atlantic, for example, the Universal Declaration on Human Rights, the foundations of the United Nations, and of course, the official, uh, official establishment of the State of Israel. John Nussbaum, a medical doctor of Swiss French origin had been quite impressed by the lack of respect for freedom of conscience, worship, and religion during the First World War and from then on. He devoted his entire life to that cause, defending religious liberty. In 1945, he met Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt in San Francisco at the first meeting of the United Nations Convention and received Mrs. Roosevelt's support to the development of an association to defend and to promote religious liberty. One year later, Dr. Nussbaum founded the International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty. The acronym is AIDLR in French in Paris. AIDLR has now its headquarters in Bern and an office in Switzerland sorry, headquarters in Bern and an office in Brussels, Belgium. Since 2016, on its 17th anniversary, the association has promoted an award that is called International Award for Excellence Ambassador for Liberty and Peace, Dr. Jan Nussbaum and Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt. It is this special award that is being given today to Professor Asher Maros, who is the president Vice President of the Honorary Committee of IDLR. To present this award, we would like to show a video, I hope that it's ready, sent by His Excellency Mr. Adam Adyang, the President of the Honorary Committee of IDLR. Mr. Dieng, who is a former United Nations Under Secretary General and Special Advisor of the Secretary General on the Prevention of Genocide, is presently serving as Special Advisor to the International Criminal Court. Mr. Dieng, unfortunately, could not attend this conference in person for being at the celebration of the 20th anniversary of the independence of East Timor, at the same time, the inauguration of the presidency of the elected president, Nobel Prize, José Ramos Horta. I invite you to watch and listen to Mr. Dieng's message, please. Excellencies, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a distinct sense of gratitude for the privilege to honor Professor Asher Maoz, founding dean of the Paris Academy School of Law and head of the Committee on International Academic Relations. I'm speaking in my capacity as the seventh and current president honorary of the committee of AIDLR. 
an organization which throughout the years has been graced with the leadership of dignitaries and people of global influence, such as Eleanor Roosevelt, Dr. Albert Schwarzer, Paul Henry Spack, René Cassin, Edgar Faux, Leopold Sedar Senghor, and Mary Robinson. Professor Asher Maoz deserves the award I have the privilege to present to him uh, through the current Secretary General of the Association, my brother Paolo Macedo. Professor Maoz distinguished himself with the passion to share the death and blessings of the faith tradition of his heritage and choice, Judaism, while showing a deep commitment to the greater good of the whole human family. He is mingling with people from various faith and philosophical traditions, respecting the dignity of difference, a concept Rabbi Jonathan Sachs popularized it has contributed to the dialogue of religions, civilizations, and world views. His tireless work to better relations between faith traditions and along with non-faith voices, as this very conference testifies, is an homage to the need for human solidarity in the making of peace. And beyond human solidarity, I would even add human fraternity as conceptualized and popularized by His Holiness Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmed Tayeb. AIDLR's commitment to the promotion of freedom of religion or belief finds in Professor Mao's an incontrovertible ally to contribute to make the world a better place for all. My best wishes for a successful conference and my uh, heartfelt congratulations uh, to Professor Asher Maoz. I wish I could have been with you today, but right now I am in Delhi where I attended the inauguration of uh, Nobel Peace Prize uh, Ramos Horta. As we all know, for the first time in history, a state has decided to include the document of human fraternity as a national document. I'm referring to this important event because I see a similarity between what Professor Asher has achieved and what we all should aim today, meaning to make sure that we remain one world, one humanity. It is time for all of us to join hands in these difficult times our world is facing. And that is why I'm deeply honored to hand this award to Professor Asher, so as that it serve as an inspiration to people throughout the world, and particularly those who are today suffering because of conflict, born because of the clashes of ignorances. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, I wish you all the best, and may the Almighty God bless all of you. Professor Shemaos, I invite you to please come and receive. Yes, I see. That one is more beautiful even. So in, in the name of the president of IADLR, the president of the board, Mario Brito, in the name of the president of the honorary committee, Mr. Arda Matiang, I would like to present you with the Excellence Award, Madam Eleanor Roosevelt and Jan Nussbaum, Ambassador for Peace and Liberty.
And as we know, it will not be easy to put this on the wall. We have prepared a spreader chart, a spreader chart for you. So you can have it. Thank you so much for everything and for accepting being our, our vice president also. Thank you so much. Well, I guess now like that magistrate from Tel Aviv, I should say that I'm surprised. Well, I'm half surprised. I know about I knew about the, the event. I didn't know who is getting it, but I've been told today. I, I, I guess they were afraid that I leave before the award, so so they told me. Um, thank you very much, Paolo. I cherish very much the honor you bestowed upon me. I'm proud to belong to the association established, as you said, by Jean Nisbaum and Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt, and led today by President Mario Brito, who is a good friend of ours, People know him, he's been here, and he will be on our next conference. And Paolo Macedo, the Secretary General. I'm especially proud to have received the award from Adama, the Inc. Adama joins a distinguished line of honorary president, starting with Eleanor Roosevelt herself, and continued as a whole with such person, personalities as Albert Schweitzer, René Cassin, Leopold Sedar Senghor and others. So I sincerely thank you, Paolo, and please pay, pass my thanks to Brito as well. We all miss him here. Thank you. Uh, Ganun, again, you Allow me to just add one note. We, yes, Paolo IDLR, um, you have honored Professor Maoz, and um, as my brother uh, Adam Ajeng mentioned, he deserves it, and I can really testify to that, no question. I just want to add, though, if uh, something that is not a footnote, but should be even part of the mainline story, because Asher, um, service to humanity, I think has been deeply enriched by his wife. So I wanted to just acknowledge her as part of the award, even though not much has been said so far. We just deeply appreciate you as a person and it's, it is a delight to be around you. So by the way, uh, this is my time to speak, so you should not be interrupting me. <laughs> No, uh, it's um, we have a good spirit to you know together. But I wanted to really acknowledge what a fantastic lady you are, and uh, thank you so much for the support. For you know, so anyway, thank you. Um, I would just like to add that we had this opportunity um, because it was the seventeen seventy fifth anniversary of IDLR last year, we would like to present to Paris Academy and IRLA as the co-organizers of this, of this meeting, a special medal for, for this occasion. And I will request our Vice President of the Honorary Committee to, to end it, if it's possible. Yes, Mr. Rector. Well, as you can see, I wear several hats tonight. And now it happens, I understand, is Vice President. And Paolo is with me. He's the new Secretary General and really a, a best addition to this great uh, organization that I'm putting for is the first time that I meet him. That's true. We were in touch, but uh, it was, you know, he left from first sight. And we have decided, here I am a partner, we have decided to present this uh, medal of the 75th anniversary to, now I should start, stop, wait, wait, Professor Ron Shapira on behalf of the Paris Academic Center.
हम तो किए हैं The second medal we present surprise surprise to Dr. Diab Ganun, who is really the driving force behind our conference, and he's also the driving force between behind AIDLR, although he belongs, he's heading another organization, but we unite forces, actually all four of us. So Ganun, with all our blessings. let it be recorded throughout history that uh, I receive a small award the day we were honoring Professor Maoz. Is that <laughs>